Well, guys, this is Bam Bam here. <laughs> the Titans are doing a great job trying to get find this dog a home. So if you want a dog and want a dog at home, Bam Bam is your guy. I have a pet, yes. I have a golden doodle, Nala. You and Simmons repping the same dog. Does he have Bam Bam too, Jeffrey? <laughs> huh, say it again. Does Simmons have Bam Bam? Uh, I think he, he probably did. No, he comes from Bulldog, so it's nice to see him with another dog. The Bulldog wasn't working for him, so. Having Nala at home, is this a cause that's very special and close to you? Oh uh, yeah, a dog's the man's best friend. Um, no matter how you treat a dog or whatever you do, they still gonna love you the same. So, you know, dogs are very special. Hopefully, this little guy can find a home. What's the challenge playing on a on a short week and you know both mentally and physically turn around playing after playing on Monday night? Really just taking care of your body, um, staying mentally locked in, knowing that it's a short week, um, coming off the Monday night game, and you know just getting all the little details down in a short week, um, each and every day um, in the meeting room, and then when you get on the practice field. They had a, they had a pretty good clip of you know the long run that you had last week of, of the crowd just losing it as it, it looks like you're going long. Do you ever get a sense of that? Uh, you know, uh, you know. Do you ever hear that the crowd start to go bananas in the middle of your run? Or are you so focused in that you don't you don't hear anything like that? We definitely need that again this week. I mean that that right there was electric, and we need that again. We need that every home game. So hopefully they come out again and bring that type of energy and intensity again. Do you hear that, that like you know, as you're running, or, or is it, or are you? I'm looking at the end zone. Then afterwards, the noise starts to come in. But while I'm in the moment, no, I don't really hear it. But it was cool. And stats said that was your fastest you've ever gone. Did you feel particularly fast on that run? Not really. I, like I told, uh, I thought it was slow. I, I can get, I can do, I can get faster and try to be faster, but. No, it was a, a great play, did a great job blocking, but yeah, I need to be faster. Your best 40 time, what'd you run the 40 in at the combine? Maybe what's your fastest? I was slow too, like four or five. <laughs> Everything just slow. First drives have been bad, first quarter, you guys have scored 20 points. Why do you think the scripted early stuff hasn't worked for you guys this season so far? I just think we just have to be better. I mean, just get out there. I mean, we got a great offense, you know, guys that can come out and make plays, but we just got to put drives together early. So it was just, uh, just stalling, and that's just all on us, you know, just going out there, putting the drive together, getting in the rhythm, getting downfield, getting points, but just been stalling a lot earlier. Is that going to bite you eventually, the, the, the idea that you guys kind of wait till you're in a hole or, or don't don't turn it up till the second half? Um, I mean, we definitely don't you know, want to start off like that. I think you just put emphasis on it of, of being better at it and then going out there and, you know, trying to do better. But you know, just making sure that you know we stay focused on that and don't want that to keep occurring week after week. Did you get a chance to visit with Eddie at all after the after the game? I didn't. I didn't get a chance to visit with him. He was standing there looking all all tough, but no, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't get to uh, get a chance to um, talk to him or anything like that. You know, he's a busy man right now, so hopefully. I mean, I think you passed him franchise history. You know, with your last touchdown run, you, you passed Eddie's uh, record moving to second place. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, yes, very cool. Eddie's a guy I grew up watching, grew up idolizing. So to be able to do that, you no, know, that's it's always cool. It's nice. I feel like some of your big runs in these past games have maybe sparked the, the team as well. When, when you're done getting the end zone, you kind of feel that energy and mm -hmm. it almost gives. Like you were saying, a slow start, it's giving me a spark to this team at some point. Yeah, I mean, it's always good when we get a, a big play like that, and that we all did our job to, to be able to make that happen. And you know, big plays like that always create a spark. But kind of want to get that spark going a little bit earlier. But yeah, big plays are always fun and you know, get, get, gets the momentum going for us. Speaking of sparks, you're 217 yards away from 1,000 uh, just six games into the season. Uh, apparently, you could match a, another record if you were to have 217 on Sunday. Uh, what would, might that mean to have this start to the season? You've, you've kind of been a – you've kind of hit your gears usually in November and December. Uh, I would like it better if we got the W. Um, I don't really try to get caught up in, you know, the stats and all the record stuff and – anything like that, but as long as we 
play good as a team and you know, get a W, I'll be happy. Um, all the other stuff will take care of itself. But knowing how much those stats roll into Ws for your team, yeah. like, why is it so irrelevant to you? Because I mean, a lot, every week, you know, we're saying, hey, Derek has done something like Jim Brown, the Danian Thomason. Like, why is it so irrelevant to you when you're taking place in history? Uh, I just don't try to get too caught up in it and worry about things like that. You know, I'm really worried about how we, how well we do as a team, how well we do as an offense, and what I can do to help the team each and every week. And how, how, how can I be better rather than, uh, oh, this record's coming up, I have a chance to break this record. You know, it's like, how can I be better each and every week, be a better teammate, be a better leader of this team, and go out there and take advantage of the opportunities that I get to help this team win. What do you remember about past games against the Chiefs, and, and do you still maybe look back at that AFC Championship game as a, as a source of motivation for maybe you and this team? Oh, yeah, I mean, it's always – it's always a battle with these guys. Um, they're explosive on offense. Um, I think they comp complement uh, each other very well, defense to offense. And you know, when they get going, it's you know it's, it's kind of hard to stop. So you know, we know type of team we we're going up against, and you know, just gotta be focusing all week to be ready for them on Sunday.